Hi guys, we are moving to your January 10th all the way to January 16th, 2021 tarot reading. Please look up your Venus, Moon, Rising, and Sun sign because if this doesn't match your Sun sign, check out your other placements and check out those readings. Now, if none of the readings resonate or click with you, then it's not your message and check again the following week. Now, please remember to like, share, and subscribe. It helps my channel grow. It helps support me. If I bring you any type of love, joy, or knowledge, let me bring that to others that you know as well again thank you so much for stopping by love you namaste hello my beautiful Pisces we are moving on to your weekly reading from January 10th all the way to January 16th 2021 the first part of the video is going to be a general reading the second part is going to be for my Pisces singles the third part is gonna be for my Pisces couples now each reading is gonna start with an Oracle card for the general reading I'm gonna pull from the Archangel tarot deck power tarot card Spirit, angels, and guides, what is the theme for my Pisces, Sun, Moon, Venus, and Rising for January 10th all the way to January 16th? Justice, Archangel Ragel, fight for justice and equality. Rulings are made in your favor. Don't give up. Beautiful, beautiful. Love that. Let's find out what's crowning your reading, my beautiful Pisces. The sun card, gorgeous. Ooh, someone's gonna be very happy. <laughs> and it's gonna be you, Pisces. Nine of Pentacles. Three of Swords. All right, so Pisces, you are definitely dealing with a situation, whether that's work or environment or maybe toxic people, but you're dealing with a situation that is putting some type of burden on you. You really do feel as if the world is against you. I don't know if it's people or your job, but you're definitely feeling like that. I see that with the Three of Swords. However, you have such a positive outlook. You have, you're so certain of your goals and what you want and there's nothing gonna stop you, all right? I do believe that this is a work situation and the reason I believe it's a work situation because I see a Three of Pentacles. This is someone who's working hard to make their coin and people are buying his services. So it, I do believe it is a work situation, Pisces. You are somebody who works really, really hard and your job definitely sees the recognition on you. They see that you're a good worker. They do value you. However, it doesn't seem like they're giving you the recognition you deserve. I don't know if they're not paying you enough. I don't know if you're not getting a promotion, but there's something going on with you, Pisces, to where you feel unsatisfied. In fact, I do believe it has something to do with money because, see, the Knight of Pentacles is a slow-moving energy. He is action-oriented, but he's slow. He's not the fastest knight. He's more of slow and steady wins the race. However, in your case, Pisces, this is not fast enough. You keep, I think they're promising you, yeah, we're going to get you a raise. Yeah, we're going to give you a promotion. Yes, we're going to do this for you. And it's just like coming to a crawl. All right. And then when you get to this point, you're like, I had enough. You guys have been disappointing me for far too long. For far too long. And I think you finally said something, Pisces, or you're going to say something. You're going to let your unsatisfaction be known. I don't see you doing it in a mean way or unprofessional way, Pisces. I do see it as you being smart and wise. Oh yeah, you're gonna say something. And you're gonna go at it quickly. Got a lot of swords energy. I don't know if your boss or your whoever you work with is a Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini, but it's someone that you're dealing with for sure. Sorry, my car flew over there. Page of Pentacles. All right, good job, Pisces. Let me tell you something. You went in there. I don't know if you went into their office or you did something, but you went in there and you charged and you asked for what you want. 
and you're about to ask for what you want and you're not only going to ask for what you want you're going to use your brain see the knight of pentacles is sword energy sword energy is people who think with their mind their intellect and they use what they they speak from they just they're basically using their brain they're not using their emotions you're losing your logic here when you talk to your boss because you're tired of broken promises all right you're tired of it and i see two page cards two page Two pages or any page card means that you're about to start off on a new journey or something new. So because you did that, because you decided to take action and stand up for yourself, this is something that people don't expect from you, Pisces. So this is like a new you. This is like literally new year, new me, Pisces. So this is you for sure. And because you did that, guess what you're going to get? money look at this guy holding his coin he's admiring it he's proud of it so it's going to come into your favor pisces now i don't know if this means you're going to get a promotion i don't know if this means you're going to get a raise either way you get your money you get your recognition you get your pay so like i said this could be mean you you storming off and say i ain't putting up with this anymore and you start your own business or your boss actually listened to you because you came with intellect and logic and back things to back you up that they gave you that raise I don't think they want to lose you, Pisces. You bring too much value to them. So good job, Pisces. Good job. All right, I'm going to clear these cards out, and then we're going to move on to my Pisces singles. All right, my beautiful Pisces singles, we are moving on to your romance reading. We're going to pull a Romance Angels Oracle card to set the theme. Spirit, Angels, and Guides, what is the romantic theme for my Pisces singles for January 10th through January 16th, 2021? Spirit, angels, and guides, what is the romantic theme? Theme. <laughs> theme for my Pisces singles. Passion. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. Mmm, look at that. Yeah, there's a little growl in my voice. Hmm. What's going on here, Pisces? Got the Three of Cups crowning your reading. We got the Ace of Pentacles. We have the Two of Wands. we have the chariot so zodiac signs i see so far pisces i definitely see strong cancer because i have cups and i have the chariot here um possibly another pisces or a scorpio possibly a taurus virgo capricorn leo sagittarius or aries that could be their sun moon venus or rising so there's somebody that either has an eye on you or you have an eye on them it's somebody within your close circle though it could be amongst friends a friend of a friend or possibly even a co-worker i do believe it might be work related because i do see the ace of pentacles here possibly not but it's definitely someone you know someone who's close to you i don't know if you go out and you hang out with them and you celebrate with them i don't know if you party with them but there's somebody that you definitely see on a regular basis who is checking you out pisces or you're checking them out remember energies are interchangeable so i'm going to go ahead and get some clarification here oh i don't feel good about that so i'm not going to take that card okay maybe i should have took that card there my card is filling out now angel's like don't you do that <laughs> Sorry, angels. I'll take the next. I'll take the card next time. I will take the card next time. Oh, two of pentacles to clarify the ace of pentacles. The magician to clarify the two of wands. Now I'm seeing strong Virgo and Gemini with the the magician card. yeah you are trying to balance something with this person or they're trying to balance 
there's something with you right now they're weighing whether or not or you're weighing whether or not you should pursue this um i don't know if there's a lot to lose here i don't know if you want to risk a friendship or you don't want to jeopardize your job because there, there's something about this person pisces that is causing hesitation all right and i think it's because there's something to risk here you could be risking a friendship or a job i'm not quite sure i do want to lean more towards um a job though because of the ace of pentacles however take the energy take what take what resonates best with you however you or this person are doing some spying i don't know if you're checking out their social media or they're checking out your social media but there's somebody who's like looking from afar looking at pictures admiring fantasizing and i think they're doing it in order to manifest and create this relationship all right the magician is someone who's very powerful. He can create anything he wants. If he wants a relationship, he can manifest it. If he wants money, he can manifest it. So this person or you are is working very hard to make this relationship happen. It's someone you are strongly, strongly attracted to. The chariot indicates someone's going to go ahead and do it. The chariot card is an action-oriented card. They're like, okay, you know what? I'm ready to go. I'm ready to make this happen. And you know what? It's going to come out in your favor, Pisces. Because this is a page card. This is a page of wands. And since the theme of your reading is passion, it's going to start a new passionate relationship. A new passionate relationship. Now, when I say passionate, I don't know if that just means intimacy or if it's going to lead to something more. So let's find out if it's going to lead to something more. Okay, Pisces? And that's too many cards. That's three. I usually take them if they're two or less, but there's three there. I made sure to show you that in the camera. I, I always want to make sure that I'm showing you the cards on the camera because me and you, we have to have a level of trust in this reading, right? It is. It's going to lead to something new. It starts off as passion. I mean, there's a very strong sexual attraction here, but I have the three of wands to clarify this. This is somebody who is holding on to their wands, holding on to their passion, but going on, looking on the distance and ready to make that new journey. So that new journey is going to be a committed relationship, Pisces. So congratulations. This is a beautiful singles reading. I hope that was everything you wanted to be in more. Um, it, I just love it. And if, it, if this resonated with you, please hit the like button, all right? I'm going to go ahead and clear out these cards, and then we're going to move on to my Pisces couples. All right, my Pisces couples, we are moving on to your reading now. We're going to use the Dorian Virtue Romance Angels card for the theme. Spirit, angels, and guides. Ooh, that one want to come out. Um, I was going to, I'm asking them, but they knew I was going to ask them, what's the romantic theme for that week? So let's find out. Keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. I don't know if I like that, Pisces. I'm going to keep it. I'm going to keep it. Because the angels let that card pop out. So I'm going to find out what this is. I have a feeling. I know what that is. Oh, let me show you the card too, by the way. We have the Page of Swords. You could be with a Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini, Sun, Moon, Venus, or Rising. Too many cards. The Empress. Could be dealing with a Libra or an Aries. Strong air energy, guys. Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. Particularly strong Libra. Sun, Moon, Venus, or Rising. Hope you know your partner's birth chart. And the hangman, that's you. That's your card, Pisces. All right. I don't sugarcoat things. I just don't. I feel, Pisces, that either you or your partner don't feel the same way you guys used to feel. Someone's getting restless. 
someone's getting bored, someone's feeling I need to be go out and explore. That's what this page of Swords Energy is indicating to me. Someone who's bored. And I do believe there's temptation nearby. I see that with the Empress card. You or your partner feel like you're not each other's soulmate, but you're with each other for some reason. So I'm gonna go ahead and get some clarification here. There is temptation though. I'm telling you that right now. And the hangman means stagnation. No movement. You feel like this relationship is stagnant, Pisces? Yeah. This person is so attractive, they beat off people with a stick. You want them or they want you. Or it's your partner who wants them and they want your partner, so. Jeez. Had the Five of Swords to clarify the Ace of Swords. Five indicates change. It means something's about to change, something's about to get shaken up. I see three people in this card. I believe it's a third party situation. Somebody gets what they want, two people don't. This hangman. So yeah, somebody's gonna do something here. Something's gonna change, change up. I see it ending here. I see it ending. The person that you're interested in or your partner interested in, they're definitely someone who has a completely different element than you. I see it as an air sign. Like I said, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, strong Libra. And that's completely, it's not, it's not complimentary to water signs and you are a water sign. I believe that's why this card says your soulmate may differ from your usual type or expectations. And they're gonna offer you a cup or they're gonna offer your partner a cup. Whatever this lust relationship was based on Actually, no, let me take that back. I don't think this was based on lust, actually. They are very attractive, don't get me wrong. They are very tempting, that is for sure. However, because I see so much swords energy, I feel like this person is more complementary to your personality type. Something that, there's something about them that entrances you or entrances your partner. is something that's different, something that they're not used to or something that you're not used to, and it's making it attractive to you because there's boredom in this relationship, the current one that you're in. Now, I do believe that, no, I don't believe, I see it. Someone's gonna go ahead and end the current relationship they're in to be with this other person, and it's gonna end up into a relationship. It's gonna be an actual, real, genuine offer, offer of commitment with the Knight of Cups. Someone's coming in and says, hey, I wanna be with you. I'm gonna leave this person to be with you. And because it's a cup card, I want to know if this, I want to know if this is the soulmate that the angels are referring to. All right. I want to know if this is the soulmate that the angels are referring to. I did not expect this. I know that's not true. Let me not fib. I did expect something along those lines when the angels pulled that card out for you. But I wasn't expecting to, for one partner to leave to be with another person. A new journey. A new journey see the three of wands here I will say this Pisces if this does it is a real offer for a relationship it is soulmate energy however this person kind of reminds me of somebody who's looking back on their past having a having some regrets This is somebody who, um, 
I don't want to say greedy because greedy would be, be more like this, but somebody who is not is more self-absorbed with what they have going on. So this might not be a soulmate connection, but it's something that did end up being a real relationship, but it might not be worth it in the end. Now, I do tell people that tarot is a good insight to the past, present, or future. However, just because this says this is the outcome, this does not have to be the outcome, all right? This does not have to be. That's why tarot is here, so we can help you. If we don't want this to be the outcome, then we gotta change the present. We have to change the present. So this is your will to change. You are able to change this ending right here by whatever action that you do. Or if this is something that you want, then let it happen, let it be. All right, my Pisces couples. If this resonated with you at all, please hit that like button, share and subscribe. That's what helps my channel grow. That's what helps YouTube have other people find me. If I bring you any type of knowledge, joy, or even entertainment, let me bring that to people that you love and care about too. I love you guys. Namaste.